All right friends, welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel and Vue3 application and in this video we'll be working on user stats and we'll be showing the user's counts based on these filters. So in the previous video I have given you an assignment. So thank you for those who have done that assignment and for those who haven't figured out the way then this video might help you. So let's get started. So first of all let me open up the code editor and let me go to dashboard.view components and it will be similar to the appointment stats so we'll be reusing some of the code so first of all we need to listen for the change event on this select input so let's do that part let me search for users and we have this and here we can listen for the change event and call the method called get users count okay and we haven't defined this method so let's define this method over here let's do get users count and we'll perform the xus request to the endpoint called api slash stats slash users and we haven't defined this endpoint so we'll define that as well and for the parameters we'll be passing date range and it will come from selected date range dot value and we haven't defined this state as well so we'll define that state and after that we'll get the response back and then we will assign to total users count dot value to response dot data dot total users count so we need to define these two states so let me define those first selected date trends and by default let's make this as today and let's define another state which is total users count so const total users count by default let's make this as zero and we haven't defined this endpoint so let's go to web.psp file and over here let's define that route get api slash stats slash users and we'll be calling the dashboard stat controller class and the method called users so let me go over this class and let's define that method over here public function users and for now just return the response json total users count let's say 10 and in our dashboard view file let's use this state total users count over here and let's change these values as well for today let's say today for 30 let's say 30 days 60 days 360 days month to date and year to date and let's use v model over here as well v model selected date range so let's save these changes let me come over here refresh it we are still getting zero because we haven't called that method called get users count so on the on mounted hook let's call that method called get users count and by default now we are getting 10 right which we were passing from our controller which is perfect so now instead of passing this fixed value we need to perform the query and we'll return the users count based on different uh, date range so let's do that part let's define the variable total users count equal user query and let's use the when method so when we have request date range equals today then we'll be passing the closer with the value of query and inside this we will do query where between where the created at date is between this given range 
So we'll pass the range. It will be now, today, start of the day to current time, right? And at the end, we'll be calling the count method. Now let's import this app models user over here. And instead of 10, let's use total users count variable. So now if I refresh it, it is zero by default. So for today, we haven't any users registered. So let's do the same for other date range as well. So let me copy and paste that code. And for 30 days from the current time, let's subtract 30 days. So here we are saying that the created a date should be between this range. So this is the start date and this is the end date. Start date for the start date we are subtracting minus 30 and for the end date is will be the current date, right? Let's do the same for another date range as well for 60 days. We will do sub days 60. Uh, let's do the same for 360 days sub days 360 now let's do the same for month to date as well month to date and for month to date uh, we need to call another method which is first of this month right and for year to date we need to call another method called first of year so it should be between these friends and instead of month to date let's change this to year to date so now let's try this by default for today we have zero register user for 30 days we have three for 60 days uh, we still have three for 360 days we have 27 and for year to date we have one meaning that from 1 of june to 12th of june and for year to date we have 27 so it is first of january to june 12. so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one